With gold now trading at over $2,500 an ounce, the hills are humming with prospectors. Claims that have long since been abandoned are being combed over for the proverbial mother load that might that they might have missed. Vernon geologist, underground miner and prospector Milo Melnizok is among those digging in. His summer on his days off, uh, he started pouring over his claims in the Monashies that uh, have recently been exposed by clear-cut logging. And that's when he made a discovery. Milo Melnetzok joins us now on the line. Good morning, Milo. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for joining us here. And this is a throwback to uh, the olden days in BC. Tell us a little bit about looking for gold at all of these claims. Oh uh, well, uh, so the Cherryville region uh, has always been a bit of a, I believe, has been mysteriously overlooked uh, during the olden times. Uh, gold fever started there uh, with the discoveries in the creek. And um, uh, so uh, we've been uh, looking for the mother load, like you said, uh, hard rock source of all the gold that's found in these creeks. So uh, I staked the property back in 2015 and have been following mostly on uh, the old showings, which, you know, consist of small mine shafts and diggings here and there. But uh, with the logging that's been exposed, in the area, it, uh, it's definitely worth to have a good look in there. And what have you found so far? So uh, the discovery was uh, massive sulfide boulders, we believe, and um, they're really angular, really local, and uh, they're indicative of a different uh, mineral deposit. Typically, these uh, uh, this property has hosted uh, quartz vein systems, which are high-grade gold, but uh, when you find sulfide deposits, they're typically larger, and uh, uh, the, the property sits within uh, the Quinella terrain, and the terrain uh, hosts some of the largest uh, deposits in British Columbia, you know, Mount Milligan, New Afton Mine, the Highland Valley Copper, they're all found within this Quinella terrain. So uh, the terrain actually uh, is exposed to the south in Cherryville and the Monash. And uh, the company that I optioned the property to has the same belief that uh, there is a larger deposit that yet to be discovered here. So uh, I'm really thrilled to have optioned the property to uh, like-minded individuals and the really um, uh, strong exploration group. Uh, so I think it's uh, good that they're going to take over now and uh, give it a thorough look. And just to be clear here, after analyzing these samples, are you saying you, you found gold or, or found something that would lead you to believe that there would be gold there? Oh, definitely. Uh, we we sent, uh, initially I took three samples from the site and uh, they all came back anomalous in gold and silver and zinc. So um, uh, since then, uh, when I showed the property to uh, my option partner, uh we collected 30 samples, and uh, there were some fairly promising numbers uh, for gold and silver. So it, it's definitely there, but uh, it's really early stage uh, find. So it will require some thorough uh, boots on the ground type of work now. What went through your mind when you got these results? Uh, I, I was ecstatic. I was I was really really ecstatic. You know. Uh, it's just uh, the feeling of finding something new that has been overlooked by prospectors of uh, days past. It's, it's really thrilling, absolutely. Um, and you know, I, I took the samples, and I always approach every every sample I take with a little bit of a skeptical mindset. You know, I hope this runs. I hope this is good, and for it to actually have turned into something was uh, really exciting. Now, this is an old claim. Why wasn't this discovery made much sooner, Sooner, do you think? Uh, so the, 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 my discovery is uh, on a claim I did not take initially. Uh, so when I 
staked the chunk of land. I've, I staked the old quartz things, and I noticed they're trending north-south. Uh, and this year was, you know, sit, instead of sitting on the couch, I decided to go check out some of these new uh, clear cuts to the north. And I'm, I never actually staked the property yet back then. So after I made the discovery, I staked it all up. So uh, it, I don't. I think it was just uh, luck of the draw. You know, go go where you think that you're going to find something. You're going to find something. Luck of the draw. Now the claim that showing prospects in is in the Monashi Mountains. If gold is found in abundance, what kind of appetite do you think there is for a mine in that area? Uh, the the property has been seriously seriously logged. Uh, it's it's far far away from any uh, parks or any uh, recreational sites, and I think it, it would be very favorable, especially to uh, local economies. Uh, small communities would benefit greatly from from projects. But, uh, of course, having said that, it's very early stage, so uh, until we actually uh, follow up the initial discovery with a thorough work program, we really don't know what we're dealing with. You've described mining for gold as the best kind of addiction that you can have. What do you mean by that? <laughs> well, it, it, it definitely, uh, you know that thing, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Well, uh, I think for, for me it's definitely the case. I, I'm working right now as an underground miner and on my days off I get to go out in the field and explore for gold and I just don't feel like I'm really working. It's just something I've always been passionate about. And it is a, a bit of an addiction. You know, I spend more time in the bush than I probably should. And <laughs> But the thrill of the hunt is definitely uh, exciting for me. So, All right. Well, thank you for sharing your story of your find with us. And uh, good luck uh, with, uh, with uh, pulling some more uh, gold out of that ground. I'll definitely be looking. And the hunt never ends. All right. Thanks for joining us, uh, Milo. That was Vernon geologist and prospector Milo Melnitzok. Samples of the rock from his claim in the Monashi Mountains show the presence of high levels of gold, silver, and zinc.